Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Trailmakers. Uh, we are back on the high seas, and this time we're going to be 100% completing another one of these two leftover areas. I think I'm going to go for the Sub-Zero base. We're going to go freezing cold, saving the steaming hot for the last area to get 100% completion of all of the artifacts. Now, the side quest for this episode, on top of getting all the artifacts for the yellow area, is going to be to experiment with hovercrafts on the high seas because as you probably know and if not i'm going to tell you right now um hover pads can also hover over water as long as you're going above like 35 kilometers an hour or so if you're going 40 kilometers an hour you can stay hovering on the water but if you drop below that you will sink but there's a little bit of a hack to um be able to hover without going fast at all but I've never dealt with waves using a hovercraft before, so that is what is going to make this kind of interesting for me. Now, if you missed the last episode, we 100% completed the blue area, which is Cheeky Wharf, and our side quest was to build this, uh, I call it the swordless swordfish. Uh, some might call it a sailfish, but sailfishes also kind of have sword noses as well, so it would still be a swordless sailfish, but it does have sails at least. Okay, so let's start off underwater, because if I look at all of the yellow artifacts that are not close to Sub-Zero base, they're all vases that appear to be underwater. So let's start the farthest. We'll work our way over to here, work our way up here, and then bring these directly back in. And getting in with a sub is... It's a little bit difficult in Sub-Zero base, because you have to find the hidden cave entrances. Now, I don't currently know how many artifacts I actually have left. I don't know if there's more than what's displaying here right now. But I do know that one of them appears to be right down. Can I fit in here? Okay, come on, gentle. Squeeze in. Squeeze in. We gotta go sideways. There we go. That actually worked. I didn't know if that was gonna be an invisible wall collision or something there, but it worked. All right, so I'm gonna grab this one on my side magnets. Leave the front ones open for difficult ones. And I don't know if I'll be able to get out one of these things with this thing on my side now, actually. I've made myself a little bit wider. No, this is not gonna- Oh, no! I've lost so much! Gotta reset here. Alright, no, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll just- I'll just go with the normal way like an adult. Alright, so now, what is this? Negative 182? Oh, we're go- we're gonna go in a cave here, I think. I think this is down in that deep area. That's gonna be an interesting place to explore. Alright, here we go. This is the chasm. Ooh, I like this. I had no idea this was here this whole time. Oh, it's so dark down here. I don't even see any- Oh, there it is. It's so dim. I feel like it should glow more. And yet, this is why I saved the front ones. You can just poke in here, grab it. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. It's really creepy in here. Wait, I do- Even though I'm, it's creepy in here and I want to get out of here, I also do kind of want to look around a little bit to see if there's anything of note. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Don't hit the walls. All right, I don't think there's anything else in here other than the vase. Let's get out of here before it's too late, before we do find something else in here. All right, so now we got to go all the way up north. This is an area I have not been, so this is going to bring us right through this as we go back. And here's, I think these are all mushrooms. Yeah, the mushrooms get blue on the uh, map when they go underwater, as you can see. So we're going to go into mushroom territory over here. Hey, look, they look like the uh, creation I just built, except with, with a sword. They're showing off their swords. Okay. Wait. Uh, oh, and here comes another group. All right. All right. Th thanks. <laughs> thanks for making me feel self-conscious. All right. So we're getting pretty dense into the mushroom forest. I see a treasure chest. We're getting closer to the actual artifact, but keep my eyes out for anything else like that treasure chest that we might run into as we go through this mushroom forest. I've never been in this part, I don't think. Man, it is really dark over in this section. All right, it says... Oh, there it is. I see it. Just off in the distance there. Just sitting on a mushroom pad. All right, so we can go ahead and sideswipe this one. There we go. So now we're going to head right through this big unexplored area directly back to... Actually, well, I'll just say we'll go and pick this one up. But I don't think it's going to be that simple because it's not just a matter of going and getting it. This is probably in an ice cave that is not accessible from this area. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get in and explore around these ice caves. Oh, look at the tiny mushroom all by itself out here. We're like in the middle of nowhere now. <laughs> it's a tiny little mushroom. All right, looks like we're coming across the ice shelf now. We just have to 
find a way in. Oh, 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 I think I found a way in. Here we go. Perfect. All right, now the question is, can I... Oh, you can kind of see a little bit of the cave system. There's the entrance right here. There's also an entrance over here, I remember. And that, I don't think, is an entrance. I remember being confused by that one. So let's see if I can find my way to these other uh, vases. And maybe I can even find some unmarked vases in here. All right, here's a little offshoot. Let's see if there's anything in here. Whoa. Oh, wait, this just goes up. No, 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 wait, now I'm on the surface. I'm not in the caves anymore. Oh, oh, it looks like I found something else over here. Not in the cave system. It's a, uh, it's a statue, actually. I don't think both of my front ones are taken up by the one. Ooh, I almost crashed. Both of the front ones are taken up by that one vase, which kind of annoys me a little bit. Um, oh, all right, no nope. buoyancy, more buoyancy. Thank you. All right, come on, get down here. Thank you. All right. So I guess I'll go in the main entrance down here and see if I can find my way out to these things. Or should I just go straight to the base and drop? I'll, I'm going to drop these ones off first. Oh, there's the entrance right down below me. It's probably going to be a challenge to find my way over to those ones. But yeah, we can just drop these off real quick so they're not obstructing any more of our tractor beams. All right, there is four dropped off. Now let's figure out where we're even going. I'm going to go back this way. Try to get out here. Well, what? Where? It's just taking me around and in between these things. Did I miss like an offshoot? Ooh. Did I just luck out by looking over here? I almost didn't see this. Oh, this is a tight squeeze. This is a pretty tight squeeze. Yeah, it's in here too. All right, I think I'm gonna have to uh, use my front magnets on this one because I don't think I'll be able to fit through here if it's on the side. Okay, oh, that was the far one. All right, excellent. Now we need to find out how to get that closer one. There must be another offshoot somewhere. All right, can I fit through here? Man, I built this sub the perfect size for this. Uh. Don't worry, I'm fine. All right, now, how do I get in that direction? I gotta keep an eye out in the walls for a cave just like this. Here we go. Is this, oh, this is definitely the right direction. Wait, are you not in here? Wait, are you serious? Oh, this didn't lead me there? Okay, I don't know anymore. I feel like I'm just going back to the beginning. All right, yep, this definitely just led us right out to the main entrance again. All right, well, I might as well drop this one off at the middle since we're coming back to it again. It's right here. There we go. Oh, I'm just checking the map and there's another one in the fungal forest. Oh man, what a waste. All right, I cannot find my way over to this one. The only explanation I can think is maybe this one isn't in the cave and it's actually on top of the cave. So I'm gonna make keep making my way in this direction in hopes that I can find these ones. Whoa, okay, there's something interesting happening up here. There's like shelves. Whoa, it goes so deep. Oh, <gasps> well, that one's negative 126. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, things are gonna get creepy down here. Oh, things are getting real creepy down here. Wait, is that another cave? Hold on. Hold, hold on. Wait, what? Which way? This is confusing. I'm gonna go this way first. This is the shallower direction, and it looks like it's heading right towards that one. There it is. Yep, okay, good. I'm glad I chose this. This looks like it's the, it's an isolated cavern for just this. All right, let's get close onto the side there. That looks pretty good, pretty manageable. All right, now we can go into the deep parts of the crevice over here. All right, here we go. Oh, it is tight in here. Anyone claustrophobic? Well, I'm trying to like figure out where I need to look. Where am I going? This isn't, that one must be on top of the ice. This must be leading me over to this one. Oh, wait, what? What is this? Am I still surrounded by ice? All right, well, there's the thing. Like, is there, am I in an ice cave still or did I exit? What is this? This looks kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to grab it on the left side again. Oh, 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 there we go. The reason why I'm putting both on the left is because it won't increase my width as much as if I have one on each side. I'm going to hope that this thing is not underneath the ice in the cave system and this thing too, because if they are, I have no idea how to get to them. I feel like I followed every cave around them. So let's take these two back if I can even find my way back. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? I, 
I thought I was just heading back and I've just stumbled across a different pathway. I thought this was the pathway back and I found another vase that wasn't even marked on the map. Thank goodness, because I didn't want to come back here. Okay. Oh, man, I forgot to look at how many were left, too, for the yellow area. Um, okay, so now I'm... <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost in the ice cave system. Oh, no. All right, this might... Okay, this must be the way out here. Wow, I, I didn't even see that other way on my way in. That's crazy. All right, we got three more returning. 23 now of 35. Wow, we still have a lot left. So that is, what, 12? All right, these ones must be in the cave system then. But before we get back to the cave, let's go ahead and get some of these other ones that are hopefully not in the cave. Let's start with the books. We get a book up here and a book down here. All right, here is book number one. And here is book number two. And there's a third book that is not on the map right over here. That is so weird. I thought I already scouted this area. I thought I saw everything around here, but I guess they don't spawn in until you get kind of close. So that's probably why I didn't see them. I definitely looked around from the top there. Oh boy, we're swinging like crazy now. Don't worry. All right, right into the ring. Come on, all three of them. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we have nine left and seven of them are on the map right now and they are all underwater. So since my side goal is to build a hovercraft that can go on the ocean, Let's get all the ones that are close by first, and then we will build a hovercraft to venture over to these other ones and see if we can make it there from the base and then dive underwater with our sub. But uh, it's these ones that I'm, I'm concerned about these ones here. All right, let me go underwater here, but above the ice caves and see if these ones, see if I was right that these ones are above the ice caves and not in the ice caves. Ah, oh, I see it. I already see the glow. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's just yoink this one out of here. There we go. Yoink. And let's hope that the other one is the same deal. Okay, we are coming up on the area, and I am a little bit concerned because I am not seeing... There's no depth here. This is negative 57 meters, and I am essentially at the surface right now with nowhere to go underneath that I can see. Maybe there's a alternate entrance over here somewhere? Man, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Please. Please be cave access. Whoa, this, wait, does this go somewhere in underneath? Oh, this seems right. Wow, that was such an obscure entrance. That is such a small entrance too. Okay, that's a difficult one. That is not part of the actual cave system. This is like a separate igloo on top of the whole cave system. Look how small this entrance is. I probably couldn't find this again if it wasn't marked on the map. All right, well, I got these two, and I don't want to go back into the cave system to submarine my way back over there, so I'm going to jump out of the water. There we go. We're going to drop these things off right here, switch over into our drone, and we're just going to airlift these things over to the teleport point. Okay, now we got these ones, which I'm assuming are a part of this cave system. I don't know. Maybe I should go down on top of the cave first just to see, just to make sure before I commit to going inside the cave. All right, so the map says they're pretty much right below me. I'm looking around. I don't see one in this area, so I'm assuming that's in the cave. And we got some of these porcupine fish. I don't think I've actually run into them to see what happens. That's kind of cool. I like how they just chew right through you. Like, whatever part touches you just kind of falls off. It's not even like a collision. It just, you keep your momentum and everything. I like that. All right, it looks like there might be another potential entrance over here. Usually these things are marking... Oh, look at that. We do have another entrance over here. So maybe this will lead me to these ones. And there it is. Since there's only two of them, I'm going to put them both on the front magnets, one on the left side there. All right, and I'm assuming this next one is right up along this way, probably in an offshoot to the right. Right over here. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, I really hope this is it. And there it is. Perfect. All right, wait, is there anything else on the map? All right, that is all the ones near here. Oh, and then look at these ones way, way over here. Wait. Oh, this one's still underwater. Negative 35 meters, negative 94. And this one's negative 91. Yeah, they're all underwater. All right, let's take these last two back. And then we are building our hovercraft to explore the high seas and find the last yellow artifacts. 
this ice shelf here is a little bit harder to get up to than I thought it was going to be. Uh, there we go. All right, drop those. Nailed it. That was just as planned. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Nailed it. All right, so this is as good a spot as any to uh, build ourselves a... I forgot I die when I hit ground hard here. Oh no, why are they spawning me underwater? Okay, so similar to my drone, uh, this is gonna have to be another windproof hovercraft, meaning that I'm not gonna be using sails or anything that are going to change the effects as I change directions into the wind. I wanna be able to go any direction in relation to the wind without it affecting my trajectory or anything like that. All right, and just to make this thing even more legit of a hovercraft, I'm not gonna use an underwater seat. I'm gonna use this go-kart seat, meaning that I have to stay above the water to not get ejected. So unlike all of the other builds that I've made, this is not going to be a cargo hovercraft because there's nothing we can really pick up with this. Everything that we're, that we're going for right now is just gonna be underwater or just in areas that hovercraft, yeah, everything's like underwater or like up on pillars, everywhere that hovercrafts are not going to be able to go. So this is just gonna be a point A to point B utility creation here. All right, so the trick to avoiding sinking with hover pads if you go too slow is to actually have hover pads be spinning around in a circle so that they're always moving faster than the sinking speed. That way your craft can stay still, but the hovercraft, the, the hover pads are always gonna be in motion. Now, I don't remember if I tested that with a rotating servo versus a helicopter servo. I'm gonna try it with a max speed rotating servo to see if that's fast enough though. See, this is the maximum speed. And the question becomes, can I, can I stay up above water with this? Let's see what happens. I have no control over this right now. I'm just going, let's see. Okay, that gives me no useful information. It's hard to tell. All right, you know, maybe what if I'm on the surface of the water and then I press repair? Let's see what happens here. Oh, no, that's not high enough on the surface. All right, get off, get off, get off. Hold on. I added some wheels to this thing so I can go. Oh, I think it's enough. I think that that's enough. That looks like it's enough. Okay, good sign, good sign. All right, well, this isn't done yet, but let's do an initial test and see if we can stay on the water. Here we go. All right, I need to find another smooth transition into the water. Oh, here we go. This is perfect. Okay, please. Please let me stay on the water. Oh, 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 we're floating. We're floating. Oh, something's up with the front. Okay, so my idea for a solution here is add another set of hover pads. All right, let's see if this feels any better now. Oh, so far, so far it feels better. Oh my goodness, do we have a working, do we have a working high seas hovercraft right now? Oh, that is sketchy. Oh, this is so sketchy. Look at this. I can't believe this is kind of working. All right. Oh my god, this is so awesome. This is actually really fun. All right, I need, there's some adjustments I wanna make. I wanna change the center of thrust. I wanna add some more aesthetics to this thing. And uh, then we're gonna, we're gonna sail the high seas. All right, and here it is, the um, hopefully final version. So we need to take this thing so far across the ocean. <laughs> Let's head over to this one over here. I have no idea what the waves are gonna be like once we get over in that area. So we need to head directly east from where we are right now. Uh, where can we, we can get onto the water over here, which is pretty much the opposite direction of where we need to go. And wish me luck on this journey. Let's hope that we can make it across the ocean here without any major issues. All right, are we going east? No, we're not going east yet. This is east. See, this thing is so floaty. Oh no, the waves. Oh, this is going to be really not easy. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. Look at these waves. See, the faster I go, the easier it's gonna be to... No, 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 no. Okay, the slower I go... All right, well, and there we go. We are now underwater. All right, 
<laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? All right, so I have this set as number one now. So if I use my submarine to get up to the surface and then transition as I break the water to number one, oh my goodness, it actually worked. I successfully transitioned. Oh, look at the spirals on the water. That's so cool. Why is that happening? All right. Um, oh my good. Oh, we are getting sucked into the vortex right now. That's what's happening. Oh, okay. That's that's what's happening. All right. Let's let's go with this. No, 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 no. All right. Let's try this transition again. Oh, perfect. Nailed it. Okay. Now we need to go in the opposite direction that we're going. We need to go north, a little bit east. All right. And getting air is a bad thing. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, if one of these waves lifts me up and I come back down with, like, the force of gravity, it's probably gonna sink me under the water. Alright, if I just go the same... No, 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 no. If I just go to the same speed as these waves, I can just stay right here nice and safe. I don't want to go over the hump. Oh, man, this is bad. This is bad news. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go over the hump, see if I can survive this. Okay, that was super sketch. My back left was kind of toying with the water there. Uh oh, now the waves are coming at me. This is this is bad news. There's no way this this wave's gonna get me right here. There's no way this works. Okay. Okay, I'm impressed. I am actually impressed with the performance of this thing so far. All right, we're going a little bit faster now. We're kind of cutting through it and then getting back on top of the water on the other side of the wave as it comes down away from the craft. Oh, there's one right below me. All right, time to transition in the sub. Oh, and there it is. Perfect. We did it. We actually traversed the high seas with a hovercraft and got where we wanted to go. I'll be, it was, we took a little bit of a detour on the way there. So after we come here and go take these back, then we get to go all the way down over here. And all the way up over there, too. Oh, there it is. It's just kind of sitting out here. I'm pretty sure the centipede goes, like, right by this thing. And I missed it. All right, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take these back. And then let's see if we can uh, survive the journey to Green Haven from Sub-Zero with our hovercraft. All right, there's two more. And now let's check the map. That didn't reveal anything else. So I'm assuming that what's left is what's left. So, like, I think we only have three more left. So let's get back into our... Let's see if I can land... My drone onto the water, transition to hovercraft without sinking. All right, you ready for this? This is going to be the most epic transformation you've ever seen. All right, we cannot drop down very far, though. Ready, and... <laughs> that didn't work. All right, I do want to try it again, though. And then from drone... The hovercraft. Oh, it worked. It finally worked. Okay, where am I? <laughs> I've gotten all the way over here. Okay, so we need to go past the vortex and over to the salvage. All right, southwest. Let's do it. All right, at least for now, we're going with the waves, which I do feel is safer than not with the waves. Uh oh, oh, we're getting way too close. We're getting way too close to the vortex. Look how bouncy and irregular. Oh, man, I don't think we can do it this close to the vortex. The water is just, yeah, once you get into this ring, the water just gets these uh, these oscillations, these these standing waves, and these standing waves are like so dangerous. All right, here we go. It's a little bit flatter now. I think this is going to be more manageable. Yeah, this works. Oh, look how much faster we can go. This is probably my fastest uh, sea vehicle, like surface vehicle, faster than my actual boat itself too. I mean, assuming that I can even stay on top of the water. But look at this. This this is nice. See, we got to really put this thing to the test in the Tiki Wharf, because that's where the water is the flattest, I'm pretty sure. All right, so next to these three kings, we're going to do a quick transition into a sub. And then right down here. Where is it? Oh, I passed it. Oh. Oh! This is the aircraft carrier. So it must be inside the aircraft carrier then. Ah, so many, so many memories from, uh, from this exact location. There it is. There it is. Nice spot for you. A lot of stunts, a lot of crashes, a lot of flying, a lot of inventions. All right, next up, we got this one over by Humble Island. What makes it so humble? We should be able to sweep by this pretty easy. 
Oh, that was actually pretty cool. All right, now, um, I think to make this easier, since this is kind of already close and I'm already on this side of the map, I'm just gonna beeline right to that one and then head in, and I think that might be it. So I'll see you guys in the uh, fungus forest, fungal forest. Is that what it's called? All right, there it is. Just hiding out in a whole batch of mushrooms here. All right, and yoink. Now let's get out of here and bring them, bring them home. All right, could this be 100% completion here? At least for, oh, look at that, Sub-Zero Trophy Unlocked. I think that is a good indicator. All right, let's check out this new trophy. So we have unlocked, the first one we unlocked was Thor's Hammer. They're so tiny. And then we unlocked the Tiki Trophy. And now we have the Sub-Zero Trophy, which this is actually my favorite, I think. The shape of it is really aesthetically pleasing. It, mu it must be all the wedges. Let's go ahead and put a couple just like that. Look at those trophies. We worked so hard for that. All right, just like I promised though, we are back at Tiki Wharf because I wanted to actually drive this thing around on some calmer waters. And look at this. Whoa, 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 that was weird. We almost, we almost actually fell into the water there. I don't know why. Look at that. Oh, this looks so cool from this perspective. Oh, we are so dead. We are so dead. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Uh, we're not dead. We're just a sub now. That's 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 how that works. We are all-terrain scrap man. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A semi-successful uh, open ocean hovercraft. I mean, it can handle some small waves as long as you're keeping your speed under control. But uh, it definitely really shines on some flatter water. Look at this. This is great. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we have one more area left, which is Mount Magma. So let me know what should the side quest be for Mount Magma. I'll be looking down in the comments for that. And uh, if you enjoyed this, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff you can find on the channel, which you can see right here on the end screen. Click this video right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.